Oh, the, I think a very important question is, is there life beyond Earth? Um, now, of course, you might, most people would say, well, there has to be because the universe is so vast and so old and there are so many stars. But, but actually finding it is something that might happen in the next few years, let's say the next decade or because we have space missions out there. We have a mission called Mars Sample Return, which is we might be able to say definitively, no, there is life beyond Earth. Um, in the next decade or so. I, I would say, by the way, that um, if we find life elsewhere in the solar system, it will be at best microbes, which is interesting in itself because that's pretty close to the age of the Earth. So on this planet, as soon as the, the Earth had formed four and a half billion years ago, it cooled down, the oceans formed on the surface. And that's why most biologists will say that Whilst microbes might be common in the solar system, uh, complex life, it would be very surprising indeed if we found that. How do you define the term time? So, so a clock that just falls freely through the universe. So that's, um, but it still doesn't say what time is. Um, so you will see discussions in the textbooks and online about something called the thermodynamic arrow of time. So it, it is true to say that, for example, the laws of nature, the basic fundamental laws of nature, don't care which way you run time. So, so they're, 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 they, they'll run. So, so basically, if you know everything about some system at some point in time, then you can. the laws of nature will allow you to run that forwards to see what it's going to be doing in the future, or they will allow you to run it backwards to see what it would be doing in the past.